Hi guys, welcome to Linuxi YouTube channel. My name is Ramishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to redirect output to slash dev slash null in RHEL 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is what is slash dev slash null. So in the Linux system, we have a specified device called slash dev slash null. I'll show you first where it is slash dev slash null. If I go with the file command utility see this is a correct special file slash dev slash null that does nothing when written to it therefore output redirect to slash dev slash null will not be written anywhere so let's try to understand case scenario where we need it so in linux operating system when we uh, whenever we run program using the command line terminal we got the output on the terminal screen so these output consist of two parts first one is standard output and second one is standard error so standard output it contains uh, information logs and success messages and standard error it contains error messages so many times the output contains a lots of information that is not re uh, relevant and in which unnecessary utilization system resources in the case of complex automation scripts especially where there are lots of program being run one after the other the display log is huge in such cases we can make use of the p pseudo device file called slash dev slash null to redirect the output when the output is redirected to slash dev slash null it is immediately discarded and thus no resource utilization take places okay so let's see how to redirect output in slash dev slash null in linux so for the demonstration purpose here i have one rel 8 virtual machine so let's begin the lab session so guys this is my linux terminal and first of all i will show you the os release version of this virtual machine so i go with cat etc if i start project release file see you can find out that is Red Hat enterprise linux 8.0 so currently i'm using rel 8.0 and if i i am run who am i let's see yeah it's ram so you can see i'm logging with non-root user so let's take an example of mv command it's a very easy and simple command mv command who command trying to move two files uh, to a particular directory from particular location so uh, where one file is moved successfully which is displayed the standard output and another gives an error while moving which is known as the standard error so let's see how we can do that so first of all i make 10 blank files using touch command for the testing purpose so for this i run the command touch file and one two 10.txt okay now press enter let's verify yeah here it is file 1 to file 10 okay so uh, here i have created 10 bank files now i am running the mv command to move files from one location to another location so i run the simple command mv hyphen v then the file name in my case i start with file 1.txt and uh, another file just take examples of slash etc host file where i want to move i want to move in tab location okay so let's see what happened when i press enter so i'm going to press enter see uh, now uh, in the given output we have found two results first one is uh, like rename file 1.txt to slash time file 1.txt which is a standard output and second one is mv command uh, cannot move slash etc host to time host permission denied which is uh, getting an error which is known as standard error so the uh, so the point is how to redirect the only standard output to the slash dev null uh, that means discard the standard output and I am using hyphen v means for the verbosity mode to show the output okay so for this we run the command in a such manner like we run the command uh, this time uh, tan then say one greater than dev null and I, I want to change the file one to file two okay see what i did so for this we run to command in a such manner mv minus v file name the another file name then tam and then i use uh, one greater than slash dev slash null so what does it mean here one indicates standard output which is the standard integer assigned by the linux for the same the operator greater than called redirection operator writes data to a file the file specified in this case is slash dev null the directory is uh, the data is uh, ultimately discarded if any other file were given instead of slash dev null the standard output would have been returned to that file okay so now i'm going to press enter let's see what happened i press enter see you can see this time we didn't get any standard output message like earlier we have something like a rename print okay 
in the such in the same manner if you want to read out only standard error to dev null then we use integer 2 instead of 1 so standard 2 is a 2 is represent for the standard error redirection so i run the same command but this time i use uh, in, uh, in in place of 1 i say 2 and the file name 2 i said file 3 now let's see what happened when i press enter you can find out the output look at that so now the final uh, you can see the standard error is not displayed on the terminal so now uh, at it is discarded in the dev null so now the final point is that how to discard both standard output and standard error at the same time to redirect both standard output and standard error we must redirect the standard error to the standard output and then redirect standard output to the slash dev null so for this we can run the command with the help of two greater than ampersand 1 okay so the ampersand character denotes the both the standard output and standard error has to be redirected to the slash dev slash null and discarded so let's take the example of this one how we can redirect both standard output as well as standard error in dev null so i run the same command but this time i using hyphen uh, v with file number 4 and percent a and go with say one okay then dev null okay then i use two greater than symbol m percent one okay so now here is the com combination with this with redirecting the standard output to dev null to silence all the output okay so now i'm going to press enter let's see what happened see we didn't have any output or error printed on the screen at all so let me explain every section of the given command so mv is the command where we are using hyphen v flag with the words booty mode and uh, one is the file descriptor for the standard output and greater than this one uh, the greater than is a you can say uh, use for the forwarding purpose slash dev slash null is the path to black hole where any data set will be discarded this could also be to the path of the file two is the file descriptor for the standard error again greater than is for the forwarding then we use ampersand ampersand is the symbol for file descriptor without it the following one would be considered as a file name and one uh, i have already told you this is used for the standard output so in the sentence uh, one greater than slash dev slash null two uh, greater than ampersand one after the command means that every standard error will be forwarded to the standard output and this will be also forwarded to a black hole where all the information is lost okay so if i go with the tam location you can find out all file one two three four five so in this video we will learn how to redirect output to slash dev slash null the same can be used in the uh, in the in the either the command format or in the complex bash script which generate a heavy amount of log okay so finally uh, this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon i will come up with another interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye